my quiet time. Daily devotions brought to you by Pastor Henry Samuel. to my quiet time friends yes thank you for being so patient we take we took a short break we had to, to uh, renew some hardware we had a technical issue but thank god for the finances thank god for the people that he sent to rally around us indeed he is faithful and i just want to say if you want to be part of this ministry and partner with us we are reaching people throughout the globe in seven different continents. Yes, friends, there are over 20,000 people on My Quiet Time, and it's growing by the week. Thank you for, and keep sending those contacts, uh, our uh, daily devotion. Keep forwarding them. Send me their names. We put them onto our broadcast list. Amen. And, you know, I love series uh, to start at a point and end at a point. And the Holy Spirit's been ministering to me about, Lord, what do you want me to do in this lockdown period, in this stay-at-home period? Yes, friends, and I just want to start the series. It's called, How to Walk in God's Footsteps. Yes, How to Walk in God's Footsteps. And our main thrust scripture is going to be Psalms 37, 23. Yes, and it says, I'm reading first in the Amplified Version. The steps of a good and righteous man are directed and established by the Lord. And it just doesn't stop there. And it goes on to say the very next sentence. And he delights in his way and blesses his path. Amen. And if I read that in another translation, in the New Living Translation, it says, Psalms 37, 23, The Lord directs the steps of the godly, and He delights in every detail of their lives. Wow, friends, as I said, today is just the introduction. What an awesome time in this time to say, Lord, I want you to order me my footsteps. If God is ordering your footsteps, then Surely, we're going to step and walk in His favor. Amen. Because the first part of this scripture says, the steps of a good and righteous man. Friends, we got to firstly, in order to walk in God's footsteps, is get off the driver's seat. What do you mean, Pastor? Too many of us are saying, Lord, direct me in this life but we're sitting on the driver's seat. And God, Jesus, is sitting in the passenger seat. We are going where we want to go. Why not just get off the passenger seat or off the driver's seat and let Jesus move from the passenger seat to take control of our lives, of your life, friend. Yes, once you've done that, your footsteps are ordered by the Lord because where you are going then is going to be determined by what the Lord is doing in your life, by you yielding more to the Holy Spirit, by you saying, Lord, here am I, take it all. Holy Spirit, I die to self, I die to flesh, I crucify this flesh in the mighty name of Jesus. Friends, it's time to get off the driver's seat, sit in the passenger seat and enjoy the journey but our focus should be on the destination and not the journey oh yes it will be rough there will be some speed ups there will be some potholes but when god's driving he knows how to navigate he knows what turns to take how to negotiate the bends when we get to them how true is that in our lives today I'm imploring you by God's mercies. Get off that driver's seat. It's time to be the passenger and let God take control. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, once again we come to you in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking to us 
And even as we start this series, Lord, I pray the fire of God will come upon us. Holy Spirit, you will minister to us. Father, today I pray we are guilty and we repent of it. We're running our own lives. We want you to order our footsteps. We want you to delight in what we are doing. Yes, Lord, help us to move off the driver's seat today. Let you take control. We ask it in that never-failing name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, friends, my time's up again. So until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed.